Hi friends, welcome to the channel The Nurse. Here we are discussing about second part of BSc Nursing Entrance Questions and Answers for your practice. So uh, here we will discuss around 25 questions that is from Botany, Zoology, Chemistry, Physics, English subjects. So we will move to the topic before. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. BSc Nursing Entrance Questions and Answers First question Which part of the plant is responsible for photosynthesis? Root, stem, leaf, flower This, is, this question is from botany subject So it is an easy question Correct answer is leaf The leaf contains chlorophyll in chloroplast which captures sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose during photosynthesis. That time it will produce oxygen. Second question. Transpiration in plants primarily occurs through roots, stomata, xylem, phloem. Correct answer here. Stomata. Stomata that is a tiny portion leaves regulate transpiration that is water loss and gas exchange carbon dioxide in and oxygen out stomata tiny poison leaves regulate transpiration that is water loss and gas exchange third question which plant hormone promotes cell elongation and growth abscisic acid gibber lily cytokinin Ethylene. Correct answer is gibberell. So gibberell hello helps. Uh, it stimulates stem elongation, seed germination, and fruit growth. Then fourth question: The male reproductive part of the flower is called pistil, stamen, sepal, petal. So correct answer here stamen. So these two parts it is called stamen. So this uh, round part and elongated uh, part both uh, is called stamen. The stamen consists of anther uh, that is round part and filament that is elongated part. Fifth question, banana is a parthenocarpic fruits because it has seeds, is seedless, is genetically modified, grows underground. So option D, you can uh, remove it easily and other three options only you can consider. So correct answer is banana is seedless, that is why it is known as parthenocarpic fruit. Then sixth question, nitrogen fixing bacteria are found in root nodules of wheat, rice, pea, maize. The correct answer is pea legumes. Rhizobium bacteria in legume root nodules convert atmospheric nitrogen into usable nitro nitrogen that is ammonia. Seventh question, the vascular tissue that transport water in plants is phloem, xylem, cambium, epidermis. The correct answer here, xylem. Xylem transport water in plants. Xylem transport water, minerals from roots to leaves. Phloem transport sugars. Aloe vera is a medical plant used for treating burns and skin condition, lowering blood pressure, reducing fever, curing malaria. The correct answer is aloe vera is used to treat burns and skin conditions. Aloe vera gel soothes burns, wounds and skin inflammation due to its cooling and healing properties. 
நைன்த் கொஸ்டின் துளசி ஓர் ஹோலி பேசில்ஸ் இஸ் நோன் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் ஆன்டிசெப்டிக் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் சீட் ஃப்ராக்ரன்ஸ் எடிபிள் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் ப்ளூ ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆன்டிசெப்டிக் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி துளசி ஹேஸ் சம் ஆன்டி மைக்ரோபியல் ஆன்டி இன்ஃப்ளமேட்டரி அண்ட் இம்யூன் பியூஸ்டிங் எஃபெக்ட்ஸ் யூஸ்ட் இன் ஆயுர்வேதா then the study of pollen grains is called mycology palynology pomology bryology the correct answer is palynology the study of pollen grain is called palynology palynology studies pollen and spores useful in allergy research and forensics Which of the following is a holozoic organism? Tapeworm, amoeba, mushroom, cascuta. So you can comment it below. What is holozoic organism? Then only uh, you can answer it easily. The correct answer is amoeba. Holozoic nutrition involves ingestion of solid foods. That is amoeba engulfs prey. Tapeworms are parasitic, mushrooms are saprophytic. Saprophytic means it eats dead uh, materials. And Cascuta is a parasitic organism. Twelfth question. The parasite causing malaria is transmitted by Housefly, Mosquito, Sandfly, Seed Sea Fly. The correct answer is Anopheles mosquito. Plasmodium is the uh, malarial parasite that is transmitted through the female mosquitoes of Anopheles, uh, Anopheles community. Plasmodium, uh, there are uh, different kind of Plasmodium examples. Plasmodium uh, vivax, Plasmodium uh, other kinds of uh, Plasmodium also there. So this is transmitted through Anopheles mosquitoes. The largest gland in the human body is pituitary. So here the gland, you need to focus on the word gland. It is not organ. It is asked in this question. It is asked the largest gland. Options pituitary, thyroid, liver, pancreas. So here correct answer is liver. If the question is uh, like largest organ means it will be skin. Skin is the largest organ in the human body. The liver weighing around 1.5 kg is the largest gland and performs detoxification, bile production and metabolism. 14th question, erythropoiesis. That term is used for uh, uh, the RBC formation. Erythropoiesis occurs in liver spleen bone marrow lymph nodes correct answer is bone marrow the production of rbc occurs in bone marrow then the maturation that occurs in a different place examples thymus gland lymph uh, lymph nodes etc in adults red bone marrow that is uh, from sternum and pelvis produces rbcs that is red blood cells the liver spleen are sites in fetuses so in adults uh, the bone marrow production at uh, red blood cells production at sternum and pelvis in the cases of fetuses the mainly uh, rbcs are produced at liver and spleen 15th question the power house of the cell this is a commonest question so don't forget the answer for this question the powerhouse of the cell uh, options nucleus mitochondria golgi body ribosome correct answer is mitochondria don't forget this question so this is very uh, usually it is uh, comes as a repeated question mitochondria generate atps via aerobic respiration earning the nickname powerhouse
the pH of human blood is approximately 4.5, 7.4, 9.2, 2.0. Our blood is slightly alkaline. So our blood pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So here correct option is 7.4. So usually 7 considers as a neutral. Uh, above 7, it, it is having some alkaline nature. Then uh, while reducing the pH, the acid is, uh, acidic nature will increase. Blood is slightly alkaline with a normal pH range of 7.35 to 7.45. Deviations cause acidosis. If it is uh, less than 7.35, it is known as condition acidosis. If it is less than, uh, if it is more than 7.45, that condition is known as alkalosis. Then 17th the question, X-rays are used in hospitals because they, they have high penetrating power, are harmless to tissues, reflect of bones, emit visible light. The correct answer is, it have, they have high penetrating power. Then uh, X-rays penetrate soft tissues but are absorbed by dense bonds, creating diagnostic images. So in the X-rays, the bones tissue will show like a white color and soft tissue that will show uh, dark in nature. So if, if there is a white color means there will be a hard matter like bones. If there is a black color means there will be soft tissue or empty space. 18th question, a convex lens is a magnifying glass as a focal length of 10 cm, its power is. So you need to calculate how to uh, uh, calculate the power of the glass. Options 0 0.1 di uh, diopter, 10 diopter, 1 diopter, 100 diopter. The power of the lens is calculated in diopter. Correct answer here 10 diopter. If the uh, magnifying glass has focal length 10 centimeter, uh, the power of the lens consider uh, it will be 10 diopter. I will show the calculation here. So, power the lens power is calculated by 1 divided by focal length in meters. So, in the question, it has given 10 centimeter. So, when it is converted into meter, it will be. 0 0.1 meter. So 1 by 0 0.1 meter equal to 10 diopters. That is the answer. Diopters indicated by D. Then 19th question. The SI unit of pressure is Newton, Pascal, Joule, Watt. SI unit of pressure. Correct answer is Pascal. Pressure equal to force divided by area. A, that is, uh, force is in, uh, indicated by Newton and area is meter square. So, uh, Pascal equal to Newton by meter square. Pressure equal to force by area. SA unit is Pascal. That is uh, indicated by a capital P and a small letter A. So, one uh, Pascal is uh, equal to 1 Newton per meter square. 20th question. The disinfecting effect of UV ultraviolet light in hospital is due to its ability to generate heat, ionize air molecules, damage microbial DNA, reflect of surfaces. So, ultraviolet ray is also used to disinfect, and, uh, disinfect uh, the met some materials that is uh, damaged due to heating or other chemicals. So, that material we can sterilize by using UV light or UV rays. So, this process uh, is because of generate heat, ionize air molecules, damage microbial DNA, reflect of surfaces. The correct answer here. Option C, damage microbial 
DNA. The UV light damages microbial DNA. Next question. Choose the correct synonym, synonym for benevolent, cruel, kind, selfish, arrogant. The synonym for benevolent that is kind. It is a similar words. Kind and benevolent. Benevolent means well. And kindly making kind. The closest synonym in the options. Then second, uh, 22nd question. Identify the grammatically incorrect sentence. So you need to find incorrect or wrong sentence. She goes to the hospital daily. They doesn't like the medicine. He has a fever today. We are studying anatomy. So here the incorrect sentence is they doesn't like the medicine. So here uh, the plural word they used. So it will uh, here it will come don't. Do not. They do not like the medicine. That is a correct sentence instead of doesn't. The error is subject verb agreement. So here used the plural word should pair with do not or don't. 24th question. Which sentence is in the passive voice? The nurse administered injection. The injection was administered by the nurse. The patient received the injection. The doctor prescribed antibiotic. So you need to find out the passive voice. Correct sentence is the injection was administered by the nurse. So passive voice structure means there will be an object and uh, and after that, there will be was or where, then past participle, then by, then subject. So that is the structure of the passive voice. So here, all others are wrong options here. The passive voice structure, object plus was or where plus past participle plus by plus the subject, that is the nurse. 25th question, the antonym or opposite of diligent is hardworking, lazy, careful, honest. The correct answer is lazy. The opposite of uh, diligent. Diligent means hardworking. So its opposite is lazy. So that is about today's video. We have discussed around 25, 25 questions. So if you have any uh, doubt means you can ask in comment section. Or if you want to continue more video like uh, for preparation for BSc nursing entrance, you can comment it below. So please share with your friends and also prepare well. And it will be uh, helpful for uh, your upcoming BSc nursing entrance. So thank you.